Kelsey, congratulations on season four. I got to see a few episodes and I absolutely love it. So way to go. Thank you, thank you. Um, you are a part of something I think that's really special on the show, which is this will they, won't they rocky relationship between Monica and Casey. If people were like feeling good at the end of season three or feeling like everything's gonna be fine, um, well, I don't know. I, I feel, <laughs> uh, I guess my question is, does Monica feel like she has sacrificed absolutely everything for her baby, for her boy? Yeah. Yeah, but that's her. Yeah, I mean, she, I think the moment, the moment Tate arrives, that was her, that's her ammo. And she is, she, she lives for him and through him. And that's always been, um, you know, she's, she's, a woman fighting for her family. She wants to be a, a good mother, but she's she's only human. Um, and, you know, and the Duttons don't make it easy. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Wes. Hey, Kenzie. Congratulations on season four. I, I got to see a few episodes and I'm obsessed. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so um, I wore my, my sheep sweater for you because my mom is always like, you know, he, Jamie's just the black sheep, he's just the black sheep. <laughs> and I, I was wondering, um, did you, we, we, you've always seemed kind of out of place or you've always seemed like you felt out of place. We found out why, season three, and my, I was curious to know, did you have this in your head the entire time you've been filming the show? Did you know this big secret? And it, is that how you developed the character? Or did you find out with us? Well, I found, yeah, I found out the details in the script. So in the in when we were prepping before season one, uh, Taylor talked about there something happened between them, but we he hadn't decided exactly what it was, and so we talked about kind of all the possibilities of what it could be, um, but that one wasn't in there. <laughs> um, but as we as we went on, you know, a little bit more would come out, nothing too specific, which for me as Jamie wasn't too difficult because I feel like Jamie suppressed, suppre tries to suppress that constantly, all of that and a lot of the pain he, he has. So it, it kind of worked for those, for me in a way, even though I didn't know exactly what was going on. Right. It, fe it does feel like th you prioritize your child over your relationship. It feels like it's, it's really dangerous to be around them. At some point, do you say, it's not about legacy, I just kind of want to live in a hole where I know my child's going to be safe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I think that's really, that's that's kind of where she's at, especially after this, you know, this, this attack is, especially seeing the way that Tate is really, is really, really having trouble dealing with it. Um, yeah. She's like, I'm out of here. Right? I'm totally with you. Is there room for redemption when it comes to Jamie? Because I want to like Jamie so much. Well, I guess for the audience, you know, we don't we don't exactly know what happened. So in a sense, yeah, we, we could there there's still room. But um but the season has to unfold and you will learn a lot and we will have to decide at the end of this season if there if that's even possible. Um, you know, Jamie's Jamie's hurt and he's broken and he's lost. He's always been lost, like you said, but he's now, I mean, at least he thought he was a Dutton by blood, so they had to accept him. Yeah. But now he's not even that. And he's, to his mind, he's almost nothing, except maybe he's one guy's son. Mm -hmm. And that one guy, maybe he can connect with and they can create a life that he's been looking for and a trust and a love. But you know, that's flawed thinking because this is a dangerous man, obviously. So. You know, Jamie's Jamie's in a, he's really in a free fall in a way. I know that you can't give up too much, but what can you share about your journey throughout season four and what we can look forward to seeing you experience? Yeah, so I think you know, I, I think seeing the, the the Dutton come out and Tate is 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 enough for her. So she's she really is she's out of there, but she she kind of turns to her community and her culture as a way of healing. And so I think that that is a world that's brought back in this season that's that's really um, powerful. And then, you know, yeah, it steers Casey and Monica into a new direction that also ends with a crazy cliffhanger. Oh God, that's amazing. How, um, what, 
That sounds so exciting. Um, good. I, oh, good. Okay, I, good. I'm doing my job. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, no, I cannot wait. Um, and I already was excited. What can we expect? What can you tell me that, that we can expect for season four with Jamie? Yeah, I can't say much. You know, I I, I wish I could. There's going to be some great, tra you know, he goes on an even deeper journey and even more perilous journey than before. And, um, you know, like I said, he's trying to connect to this man who is his biological father and and trying to to form his own own life now. And so so he's got his job and he's got this guy. And so Jamie's going to turn to these two things and to get what he needs. That's all I can say. Oof, I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm so concerned. Um, what is it like working on set? Because it feels like there are so many different characters, so many different storylines. Do you, as an actor, do you kind of feel almost like Jamie, like disconnected from everything that's going on sometimes? Yeah, especially last season. It was kind of, it kind of, you know, in a lot of ways, for as an actor, it worked. I used it to my advantage. I, should, I, I don't want to say anything that about the pandemic is beneficial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used it to my advantage. I judoed it, and I and I and yeah, I was disconnected from everyone. Only really with Will Patton, who plays my biological father, and and a few others. And so, I yeah, I took advantage of that, and 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 I did feel isolated. We're all close, otherwise, you know, and, and most of the time we hang out together and on other seasons and stuff, but it just was different this time. So I, I took a bit advantage of that and, 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 isolated, and, and isolated him as much as I could, yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. I love it. Um, all right, well, also, uh, they told me to stick to questions about the show. I think that this is very relevant to the show. I'm wondering what Kevin Costner smells like. <laughs> um, smells like baseball. <gasps> what a great answer. I didn't even, I, I know, I didn't see that coming. You're amazing. I asked Wes this and his answer was amazing. And I have a feeling yours is going to be as equally amazing. Can you tell me what Kevin Costner smells like? <laughs> oh my God. What did Wes say? Baseball. Mic drop. I was, I was like, yes. I know. Well, I was going to, I was, I was going to, uh, I just watched the bodyguard again. Oh God. Yes. So it's amazing. Like, oh my God, dude. I hope he smells like Frank Farmer. Honestly. <laughs> um, I don't Yeah. Yeah. Frank Farmer. Is that an answer? He smells. Yeah. He smells great. That's a great answer. Did you know that he was talking to princess Diana about filming the bodyguard too? When she died, they were, they were talking about perhaps doing the bodyguard too freaking Kevin Costner and Princess Diana. I mean, like, can you imagine what? Crazy, I didn't know this. I know, isn't that amazing? I might have to ask him about this. You have to, and if I'm gonna DM you and see if you get any good deeds. Oh my God, but... yeah, yeah. Cause I mean, he also, like, he chose the Dolly Parton song that's, that when he sings at the end, like, oof, that movie. I mean, crazy. you're just in the everyday, you're just like, you you bask in his glory, I can only imagine. I, I know, I know. I feel the exact same way, to be honest. Like, <laughs> um, most of the time, I'm just like, is this real? Like, <laughs> I love your life. Well, uh, congratulations on season four. Uh, I really enjoy your, your storyline. I enjoy, I mean, you, I want you to be my mom and that's weird. And I understand that because I think I'm older than you are, but oh, you're so listen, I'll be your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I really, I'm loving Yellowstone and congratulations on all of your success. Way to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. So nice talking to you. You too. Bye Kelsey. Have a great day. Bye. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I just want you to know that I'm Team Jamie. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the haters say. I'm on your side. Hey, uh, and still don't know anything, so you might be right. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I love it. All right. Well, congratulations again, and I look forward to seeing the rest of the season. Bye, Wes. Thanks for a great interview. Thank you. Bye.